fastest way to work with BricsCAD is with shortcut keystrokes. And uh, let me show you what I mean. So I'll press uh, Control-9 and the command line comes and goes. Press Control-0 and we get into full screen mode. Press Control-1 and that, and that toggles the properties bar. Control-Shift-S brings up the save drawing as command. The great news is you can create custom keystrokes for any command you want in BricsCAD. Let me show you how. To edit and create keyboard shortcuts, you work customized dialog box. Easiest way to get there, right click any user interface element, go down to the bottom of the shortcut menu and choose customize. When the customize dialog box opens, you can see that it handles many aspects of BricsCAD's user interface. For now, click on keyboard and in this pane you see all the keyboard shortcuts that have already been defined. In the other pane, the right hand one, you see all the commands that are available. Let's uh, choose Control 9 and down here in this bottom pane you see how the shortcut is defined. This is the keystroke. If you want to change the keystroke, just type it in on the keyboard like you want it. So for example, Control Shift 9 and there we go. Remember that BricsCAD bold faces the text to show you what's changed. Well, I don't actually want to make a Control Shift 9, so I'll simply go back to Control 9 by pressing Control 9. Next three items are um, not used by the keyboard shortcut, so don't change them. Down here, the command itself looks extremely complicated. What you're looking at is called the diesel programming line. It's how BricsCAD uses to uh, toggle the states of user face elements. There is no need to edit that. And finally, image. You can change the image, although quite frankly, it's not going to be used anywhere uh, because um, shortcut keystrokes, of course, don't show anything like tooltips or images. However, you really want to, because it would look nice in this list here, you can click this browse button and then you can choose from existing icons that Brixis has included or else you can choose it from a from a file. Now it says bitmap file but in fact it uh, supports all these different formats and ahead of time I downloaded this um, keyboard icon so I'm going to select it, open it and click OK and it's warning me that anywhere in BricsCAD now where this uh, command bar command is used this icon will appear. So I'm going to say yes and uh, the path to the icon is shown here and there you can see the little icon for the keyboard. Isn't that cute? Click OK to apply the changes. Let's create a new sh keyboard shortcut that uh, when I press Control U zooms the drawing to its extents. It's because zoom extents is a command I use a lot. So let's uh, go back into the customized dialog box and a nice touch is that the uh, last use tab always comes up first. Now you may be wondering why I'm using Control U. Well, that's because most of the letters have been used up again, but Control is still available. So to create a new keyboard shortcut, you uh, right click, choose insert shortcut, and then you choose the command from here. So I'm going to go down to view and scroll down until I find zoom extents. Click OK and there's the new command but it doesn't have the keystrokes assigned to it yet so I come down here click in this field press Control U it appears up here and everything's done. Okay so you can see the commands have been filled in for you. Click OK and now I'll test it out and every time you do a customization always test it out. I'm pressing Control U and there's the zoom extents.